Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Um, thank you for joining us. As always, we're so happy to help you come up with some healthy snacks, some new ideas. Today, we are making a snack. Rain and I are going to be making a snack, and this is one of our favorite treats um, that we love to make our family. Uh, usually, we don't make it this early in the morning, but for you guys... Of course we will. So today we are making guacamole or our version of guacamole because sometimes we throw in a couple of different ingredients. You can call it avocado yep. dip if you think, you know, it's untraditional, but it's avocado based and I absolutely love avocado. We yep. love avocado in this house. There's a few different reasons why. So we love avocados because um, they are really, uh, well, first of all, they're delicious. They're actually a fruit. If you didn't know, avocados are a fruit, one of the most delicious fruits, and um, they contain, um, they're a really good source of potassium, which a lot of people don't know. They've got B vitamins, vitamin C, folate, a whole bunch of other stuff, um, and of course, those healthy fats, so a monounsaturated fat um, that's really good for inflammation and a whole other um, bunch of health uh, health reasons or, or health issues that you want to have healthy fats, your eyes, your skin, your nails, your hair. It's uh, good for overall wellness, health and wellness. So that's why I love avocados. And then of course, we're adding in some red onions, some tomatoes, which contain lycopene, um, which is a great antioxidant, but you need some fat to help your body absorb it. So that's what's great about the avocado. So we're also adding lime juice. We don't have fresh limes. You do what you can in these times, right? So we're using, um, our little lime bottle and then salt and pepper. We don't have any cilantro. We don't have anything else to add to it. Um, so that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you, Rain is going to show you here how we open up an avocado. Okay. So you want to go right down the middle. You want to use a sharp knife and then just rotate it around because there is a pit in the middle here. Okay, and obviously you only want to let your kids do this if they are responsible and mature enough to wield a knife of this size. And then we have our pit in the middle there. Now you can do it like Rain is doing it, maybe not in his hand. Um, and watch your thumb. And you kind of just turn it there and usually it'll come out, but you don't want to cut right into the avocado. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to put that knife down. We're going to scoop this avocado into our bowl. We've already added a few avocados. We're going to throw that in there and then Rain's going to add our ingredients. So, and we're going to mash it up. Do we have a fork? Yes, yep. we do. Yeah, let's mash it up a little bit first. So you want to mash it up a little bit. I like my guacamole a little bit chunky, so I don't worry too much about it being smooth. This is up to you. Do whatever you want. And of course, this is the stage and the step that kids can do themselves, which is awesome. Um, it's a really simple, simple recipe. If you ever go to an authentic Mexican restaurant, they usually make it at your table for you. And this is all they're doing. It's just mashing up avocado, throwing in a few other ingredients. It's so fresh and delicious. And you don't have to eat it with deep fried chips. Of course you can, um, but you can have it with vegetables or you can make your own tortilla chips um, out of just whole wheat tortillas and you just roast them in the oven. You don't even really need to add anything to it. Just make them crunchy, right, Rain? Yep. We also have served this just on crackers, um, which my kids like. So it, there's really a whole bunch of ways to eat it. You can use it on sandwiches. Um, it's just really delicious. So let's add our other ingredients. So here we have some red onion and we have some cherry tomatoes. Now these are from a local farm, which I always love to support. Um, local uh, foods retain a little bit more of their nutrients and especially tomatoes as we get into tomato season are going to be super sweet and delicious. And I love cherry tomatoes for that. So cherry or grape tomatoes always have a little bit more sweetness than their big tomato counterparts. So like I said, we don't have any fresh limes. We're doing what we can during this pandemic. So use what you can. Don't go out and buy anything um, that you wouldn't get in your essential shopping trip. So we add lime. Not only does this add delicious flavor and some uh, some extra vitamin C, but it also keeps the avocado from browning. So Rain, let's mix this up a little bit. Mix that lime juice in. So if you are getting the avocado out, but you know you're not going to eat it for a little bit, definitely make sure you're covering that avocado in lime um, because that is going to keep it nice and green. Okay, so we like ours, like I said, nice and chunky, lots of onion and tomato in there. 
and uh, that's delicious. And then of course you have to season it. So we are adding some of our sea salt here. And we're gonna add as much as you like. This is where, you know, whatever you your taste buds tell you, that's how much salt you can add. But we don't wanna add too much. And then a little bit of pepper as well. Now, like I said, like I said, you can serve this with tortilla chips, on crackers, on sandwiches. Hi, Andrea, thanks for tuning in. Always good to see you. And um, if you want to keep it from browning, if you have some left over, which doesn't usually happen in our house, but if you do have some left over, what makes it turn brown is the Air. oxidization. So when oxygen gets to it, it turns it brown. So what you wanna do is put it in a container and press um, either saran wrap or if you have some reusable like beeswax stuff, press it right down onto the avocado all the way around so no air can get to it and it will stay green. Another method that I've seen work is put it in a bowl with um, some room on top and pour water on top. Now I know that sounds gross, but no oxygen will get to it because the water creates that barrier. And then when you wanna eat it again, you just pour the water off and then you mix it up and it's like brand new. So here we have rain putting it into a nice bowl, which we can serve with some carrot sticks and celery sticks and maybe some crackers or some homemade tortilla chips. And that's it, you guys, really simple. We've gone from avocado to our version of guacamole, quick and easy, right Rain? Yep. And delicious. Very good. Awesome, all right. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. A nice, quick and easy one today. We're here every Monday to Friday at 10.30 a.m. making snacks for you guys, something nice and healthy. So I hope you'll tune in um, every day. Please comment, like, and share these videos with your friends that are at home. And we're gonna go eat some guacamole. So we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.